Now, isn't this the most beautiful thing that you have ever seen? My eyeballs are in heaven, and I'm sure the camera is like not capturing it as well as I can see it, but I'm trying. Okay, so what I did is I added some dioxide purple and some faux rizzle purple glitter to my resin and I did a coating. Now, maybe I didn't add enough um, paint into there because there are a few little areas, really small spots, where you can see under it. So maybe it wasn't opaque enough, but I mean, all the middle part is perfect. All this, like, there's so much perfectness here that it's all good. I'm going to be pouring over those little spots with the paint. Now, I'm going to be using some Liquitex pouring medium and some GC800. And the colors I'll be using are titanium white, carbon black, I have some teal, which as you can see fits so well with the purple, and I want to use purple, but I've noticed that golden only has dioxide purple as a purple, and it's really dark. I really would like to see a lighter <clears throat> shade of purple. Sorry, I'm sick. My voice is weird. <laughs> And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own. Now that it's going to be the first time that I mix um, colors together with the golden paints. And I don't want to use red. I want to use magenta. Don't ask me why. It's just what I'm feeling right now. And I'm going to add a little bit of blue in there to create my purple color. So let me just prep myself here and I am going for this.
Any ideas? So this is about 30 to 40 minutes later after I poured the last part here, which is looking kind of cool. Now, I did just try to pour in this area here, just a little spot, but it looked horrible. So I washed it off and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to leave that huge amount of negative space there because I love it. And I'm sure with the resin on top, it's going to be awesome. So first off, this part here is completely dry. I did it yesterday and the paint was moving so much, even if it was leveled. One side was going into there, the other into there. It's crazy. I think this is pretty much um, the aspect of my technique that I have not understood yet. The paints move in every direction. So I kind of babysat it and decided to wait for it to completely set and dry before moving on to another area. Now, I was learning about these colors for the first time and I did not get much happening at first. I really liked the smoky effect of the teal and the black there. You can see that they react together much differently than the magenta and the white. So I kind of put a little wall and I sprayed some diluted dish soap, which is water and dish soap simply mixed together. So that's where I got all those effects. Kind of cool. Overall look, cool. Now to this area here, a lot happened at first and some disappeared, but overall it's looking kind of awesome. So I purposely put the teal and the black next to each other and I tried to put all the magenta and the white together. You know, I tried to learn from my previous uh, experiment. It's looking kind of cool. Got some lacing that stayed, and that is just lusciousness right there. And it's much less pink than that. Like, I did put some blue into the magenta, and it looks much darker as usual. Cameras suck. And when I got to the last area here, I really layered only one color after each other, and it worked, I find. Got some huge stuff going on, all creepy and all over the place. I love it. It's like an explosion up there. Kind of reminds me of that uh, magenta in my other painting. I had like a similar spot there. So I'm going to be posting the final results on Facebook and Instagram. I still have to resin coat this. And I hope you guys like this. I love it so much. Hope you guys too. Bye.